So what kind of microphone can you get to put on your DSLR for $20? Let's find out. This is the Hammer & Anvil Directional Condenser Microphone, and if you couldn't tell, it is relatively small. This is a brand that hasn't been doing this for terribly long. From looking around online, I think they actually just moved into the microphone market back in like September or October of 2015. Taking a look at the back of the packaging, you can get loads of information about what the mic does. So there's your frequency response, 38 to 20,000, sensitivity, signal to noise ratio, power takes 1.5 volt AAA battery, has a three and a half millimeter plug, there's your pattern showing you where it's actually gonna pick up, and your frequency response graph, and there's the answer a lot of people are going to be asking imported by Adorama. So Adorama is actually the brand behind this. I'm not going to say it's their house brand. They're making it available though. So I picked this up for 20 bucks directly from Adorama. Let's open it up and see how it works. So first up in the package, hammer and anvil user guide. Just gives you information, safety and warranty information, unpacking and checking the device and all the stuff you get on the outside, troubleshooting and everything. There's a windscreen. This looks like it's going to be a mess. Well, that's cute. It's got kind of a stretchiness to it. It's definitely letting fur go off all over the place. That's messy. Here's the microphone itself. Very, very small microphone, I will say. And this little screen here does appear to just pull off. Very nice. You have your cold shoe mount here with also a tripod mount on the bottom. And actually it looks like in addition to being the mount, it's also sort of a vibration reducer, shock mount. Here's your three and a half mil audio cable. It's stretchy. On the back you have an on off switch. And then it looks like you just pull back here on the top to stick in your AAA battery, which is not provided. Otherwise in the box, you've got this little velveteen kind of bag. Probably not gonna get much use. And that's about it. All right, got a battery in here. Now for a little bit of a quick back and forth. Right now I'm using the Audio-Technica AT8024. It's overhead, it's about a a foot, maybe a foot and a half away from my face. And now I've moved over to the Hammer and Anvil microphone. So what I'm gonna do next is take all the clips that I've made so far, bring them into my computer and see what sort of a difference this microphone makes. And in case you're curious, this is what it sounds like outdoors with a little bit of wind. I'm gonna sort of spin around because there's wind coming from this direction. So we'll just be able to see if it's blocking the wind out appropriately. I do have that windscreen on right now. And the exact same thing, we're outdoors. I've just taken the windscreen and actually the little pop filter screen off. So we'll see if that makes a difference as well. It certainly looks like it has. Yeah, just looking back and forth, it appears to have made a pretty significant difference there. Well, all of those tests and a bunch of others that I did, I'm gonna have to revise my initial thoughts and impressions on this thing. If you're in a setup like this, like I am right now, where you're not gonna be moving, where you're not gonna be going anywhere, you're going outside or anything, this is not terrible. It's not amazing, but it's not terrible. But if you move it around, or if you put the windscreen on and move it around especially, you're gonna get this weird rumbling. And I don't know if that's the shock mount or just having weight on it as well, but there's something that's just not quite right about it. So again, if you're gonna be completely stationary, for 20 bucks, this is not a bad option. But if you plan to do anything else with it, if you plan to move around with it, it's probably not gonna be a great option for you. I'll put a link to where you can find it down in the description, and I'll be more than happy to do more tests and samples with it if you're interested. As I think I mentioned earlier, I'm May not have included it here. When I get my mount in for the DJI Osmo, I'm gonna be trying this out on there just to see how it works out. But if it makes those rumbling sounds like you heard when I was outdoors, probably not gonna end up using it for that. But again, links down below to where you can find it. Make sure to leave a thumbs up if you like the video, subscribe to receive more, and we'll see you again next time.